we're looking at a table full of rocks. Now, they don't look too special right now, but they will here in a minute, I promise you. These are sodalite-rich cyanite. Well, so what is cyanite? Cyanite is a coarse-grained gray igneous, meaning volcanic, igneous rock composed mainly of alkali feldspar and ferromagnesium minerals such as hornblende. Now, sodalite is also in here, and it is mainly known for its royal blue color and mottling with white limestone, similar to lapis lazuli, but this mineral glows under UV light, and we're going to see that in a minute. Now, the stones themselves are predominantly cyanite, which is an igneous rock with a high orthoclade uh, feldspar content. It's quite similar in competition, uh, composition to granite, but it lacks the high quartz content of granitic rock. They're frequently called euperlite. It, uh, the name originally stuck as a trade name for the gentleman who discovered them. Now, euper is a slang name for people from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. Those uh, who are fans of these particular stones might have also seen them called emberlite, and that's the name I think I want to use. Emberlite is found only along Lake Superior shore of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Specifically, this is the northern portion of the Upper Peninsula, and they're generally found along the shores of the lake itself. Now let's have a little magic, and we'll turn the light off, and we'll turn a black light on, and find out why these are called ember light. These, to me, look like charcoal briquettes glowing, uh, just like on fire. It looks like you'd burn your hand touching that, but that is the blue soda light that, under black light, that we have here, 365 NM, uh, it really makes them fluoresce. Uh, look at that. It, different, every rock is different. It, it depends how much blue soda light is in it. Uh, this one is packed with a whole bunch of little specks of blue soda light. So these are like a conglomerate. Um, some of them are just loaded with the glow. And I love them. This is my new favorite rock. Some of them don't have much in it at all, but uh, they're just interesting to pick up. Okay, look at this one. Real microscopic, and then there's some few bigger specks. But, wow, uh, this, <laughs> you'd think you'd burn your hand like it's hot charcoal or something, but it's just blue soda light in that cyanite. And then some of them have, see the veining in there? That is so... Cool. Uh, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And look how many there are. Just a whole bunch of these little darlings. And intense. I hope this comes through on the camera, but in person, these knock your eyes out. Really, really nice. Um, let, let's look at some more. I just love looking at them. This is little micro specs of it and then this is larger pieces so they're all all form different that one's loaded absolutely loaded with the soda light blue soda light ember light is what i'm going to call it because the uper light is a uh, trade name and it's uh, the guy sued people over the use of the name they're embers uh they're glowing embers i like ember light look at that my new favorite rock. I had not heard of these before. I am really impressed. I love them. I got a table full of them. A guy sent me a bunch. He and his wife walk along the shore at night with a black light and find them. You got to be in the right spot. And he said it's best after a storm because other people go there and collect them too. And you want to be there after a storm when they wash up and uh, collect these volcanic rocks. That's what igneous means. And uh, just neat, neat stuff. Boy, with the light on, they not too impressive. Now look at the green along here. I saw some others that had that. 
along the edge. Look, this, this has some interesting color too. Purple and the orange just really glows. They look hot. Let, let's uh, keep looking now. This, this has interesting veining in it and the vein is really predominant in this one. I like that real well. Oh boy, I got some real favorites. Look at that. It's almost all of the blue soda light. It's almost solid. That, for a little one, that really pops. Um, they, they've got a lot of character, and everyone is unique. Everyone is different. And it's funny, with the regular light on, you think, oh, they're just gray rocks. Look like river rocks or beach pebbles or whatever. But, wow, under a black light, that is fascinating to me. Let, let's see. I saw some color in some earlier. Yeah, there's kind of a purplish blue in there. So, just... Fun stuff. Uh, a friend who bought a box of our uh, lamprite ore sent some to me, and then I wanted more, and I wanted more, and we did some trading, and uh, I just love these. <laughs> yeah, it's like playing with jewels. Yeah, that that's a solid one right there too. I think that's different from the other solid. One. Okay, now this. This has some of that greenish blue in it. That's got a unique color. And the veining in this. And this has some of that little bluish green color in it too. So just size isn't the only thing. It's how much they've got going on in them. And I, I enjoy playing with these. Look at that. Oh, wow, it really glows. Well, thank you for taking a look at our ember lights. And they do gr glow like burning embers. And wow, that, that is really a hot rock right there. Wow. Cool stuff. Well, thank you for joining me. I had to show you what we just discovered.